Almost everyone wishes to travel abroad whether for business or leisure. But most of us don't have millions to let us to travel in the best way we wish. For those with some cash can wish to travel in VIP sections of common airlines, but still it doesn't make it more interesting than traveling in your own jet. But for the few that have the luck to be elected and sit in the most secure White House Oval Office, get almost everything every man can admire. They sleep in the most protected bedroom, they eat everything they need in time. When it comes to traveling the USA president travels in the most secure and complicated convoy in the world. Escorted by dozen of cars with the most advanced technology in the world. Even though the president of the United States travels in the fastest convoy in the world. Time comes when he has to use a more fast and secure means of transport. That's when the most advanced helicopter comes in. Traveling at speeds more than 200 miles per hour, the presidential helicopter provides a safe travel to the President of the United States for short time distances. However, there are distances that the helicopters cannot reach. Given the fact that they have a small distance range, most helicopters are not made to cross big ocean. That's when a secure and secretive mean of transport is required to make the helicopters available at places where the president can easily access them. In today's video we shall look at the complicated and fastest ways how the presidential helicopters are transported within US and overseas. Marine One is a call sign given to any helicopter that transports the president. As such there is no one specific Marine One. In fact, there are about 19 helicopters that may receive the call sign. As such whenever the president is on board of a military flight its call sign is the name of the armed service followed by the word 1. Thus Air Force 1, when in the presidential plane, Army 1 when in any helicopter belonging to the Army, Coast Guard 1 when it belongs to the Coast Guard section, Marine 1, Navy 1, and Space Force 1. However, only the Air Force and Marine Corps actively maintain aircraft for the Commander-in-Chief, and the President has never flown in either a Coast Guard or Space Force aircraft or spacecraft. If the President uses a civilian airplane it is designated Executive 1. Operated by a team of experts, the presidential helicopters commonly called Marine 1 are kept at the Marine Corps Air Facility in Quantico, Virginia where the team of the best pilots in the HMX-1 squadron operate the base. If not found in Virginia, then the presidential helicopters can also be kept near the White House in Anacostia in Washington, D.C. at the Naval Support Facility. When the president needs a ride, the helicopters travel to the south lawn of the White House. The helicopter is always met by at least one U.S. Marine in full-dress uniform. For long-distance trips, the President may use Marine One as a ferry to reach Air Force One. From the south lawn of the White House, the helicopter flies to Joint Base Andrews Naval Air Facility in Maryland, which is where Air Force One is based. The fleet of executive helicopters is made of 19 helicopters and are known as white tops for their distinctive paint scheme. Other helicopters operated by HMX-1 that carry cargo and support staff are called green tops which are 35 in number, but of different types, though the Viosprey dominance this category. These are being procured only for the white top role. The Marines use the C-17 Globemaster, or the C-5 Galaxy, to transport the fleet of Marine One helicopters. The helicopters may need to be transported when traveling great distances, including domestically and internationally. The distance to any country across the Atlantic Ocean, or the Pacific Ocean is greater than the range of the Marine One helicopters. The trip from DC to London is about 3,662 miles. The distance from DC to Seoul, South Korea is over 6,000 miles. When traveling overseas, the President is likely to travel on Air Force One, which is currently a Boeing 747-200B. 
The Boeing 747-200B plane has a range of about 6,857 miles. Each C-17 Globemaster can hold two VH-60N Marine One helicopters or two VH-3D helicopters. The C-5 Galaxy can hold up to six helicopters, with a maximum carrying capacity of 261,000 pounds. Normally the first C-17 Globemaster transports the presidential convoy cars and security equipment. After the Secret Service have assessed the place very well. Then either C-5 Galaxy or C-17 bring in the helicopters to be used as Marine One. The VH-3DC King and the VH-60N White Hawk are loaded into the C-17 Globemaster in a systematic and unique procedure. Before the huge aircraft takes in the helicopters, the rotors are dismantled or adjusted to let them fit into the cargo plane well. Special ramps are designed to assist in loading the helicopters into the huge aircraft, after which a tug pulls the helicopters toward the loading ramp of the huge aircraft and from within an internal tow cable pulls the aircraft aboard. On arrival the helicopters are taken out. Rotors are fixed and are available if the president needs them on his trip. These helicopters are ballistic armored, have missile warning systems, anti-missile defenses, and is also equipped with secure communication lines to remain in contact with the White House and the Pentagon. Identical decoys fly alongside Marine One chopper in various formations throughout the flight to deter possible threats. The strategy is known as the presidential shell game. Thanks for watching today's video, be sure you have subscribed to watch our new video, indicating the testing of the new $200 million helicopters to be used as Marine One in the near future is out.